game is called The Next Car Game, and it's it's by Bugbear Entertainment. Uh, the next car game called Wreckfest. Like I don't know if it has like the official title because this is still actually in alpha mode. Actually, I think it's like pre-alpha mode still. It's like an alpha or pre-alpha mode still, and it's been like two, almost three years, I think. Like, close to three years on this game. I mean, I'm a huge Bugbear fan. Uh, if you look up Bugbear Entertainment, they're the ones that made Flat Out games like that. So, I'm a big fan of them. This is like actually one of like the only games I have on this PC, because I just got this PC like a year ago. Not really a huge PC nerd, so I don't know all the specs off the top of my head. Um, I could probably put that in the description or whatever. Not like a huge PC gamer nut or anything like that. I just kind of got one to see what it was like. I did have GTA. I did delete it, but I might be able to get it back. I might try to do that someday. But I don't think this PC can handle it. It doesn't handle it efficiently, and it doesn't handle this game efficiently either. I mean, it could be a lot better, it could be a lot smoother. Um, as far as frames and, I don't know, just the quality of the game and stuff like that. I had to, like, turn down the settings and stuff and get it to work. But, anyway. Um, I don't know what I'm going to make this about if I actually use this video, that is. If I can use this video, it'll be a win. But if not, then it's going to suck. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. Yeah, like in this game right here, you can go, it's like, this was like during the, the Christmas crap. It's like a Christmas special thing. You can still do that, I guess. Uh, they have lawnmower derbies. This is a derby game, essentially. Like, this is the core of the game. Is It's a destruction derby type game. Uh, destruction is the main theme of this whole game. And the damage factor and all that stuff, you know, kind of... Like a BMG, or BMG, whatever the hell they call that. It's kind of sort of got that feel to it, but it's not that game at all. Like, as far as destruction, like the amount of detail that goes into the destruction, that's what I'll say. It's got the amount of detail, if not more, maybe, in destruction quality. And uh, it's pretty neat. It's a pretty good game, I feel. It's got the workings of being a really awesome game. Uh, it doesn't. It's not fully there. I mean, uh, you can see what they're trying to set up here, where they can, you can customize everything, like intake, exhaust, drivetrain, and everything, man. Just, you know, performance-wise and everything, it looks like they're trying to make it a really cool game, um, but it's not all there yet. It'll probably take maybe another few months, another year or two. I don't know how long they're going to go on this game. Uh, it's it's still up in the air. It's really up in the air right now, so... I'm thinking, because since Bugbear is not like a huge game company, they're not a huge game company, it's probably going to take like another year or two tops. Maybe more, even. I don't know. To even get the finished product out for this game. But it's a really highly detailed and like, it's like, I don't know how I can explain it. It's a highly detailed, really uh, immersive type experience when it comes to a car game. Uh, I don't know. Like a destruction derby game. This is like, not your mom pops destruction derby this isn't like playstation or playstation 2 all those derby games you played back then this is like all in like they're trying to pull out all the stops they're trying to give you everything you might want or you would want in a derby game it's good so i don't know i'm just gonna mess around here a little bit mess around Put some stuff on this dumb car. I just bought this one. I just purchased it. I think this was like four thousand, something like that. I guess I'll go with that. That paint job, uh, just as good as any, I guess. 
opponents. I guess I'll go with 15. I mean, I'm trying to reduce the amount of stress I want to put on this PC. So, because I know it's not, it's not top of the line, so. Let's see. Oh, this is one of those cyber PCs, if anybody's wondering. I don't know all the specs right offhand, because I haven't looked at them in a long time. But it is a cyber PC, so forgive me for not knowing these things. Because I know the internet, and I know they're going to be like, what the fuck? If anybody stumbles across this video, that is. It's be like, well, what is it? Or, I mean, I'm not even that particular on PCs to myself. When I watch people play, I don't even care. That's not something I really bother myself with. Uh, uh, medium maybe? I don't know. Like normal? Half, half, I guess I can go with that. Last man standing. Uh, start the fucking... Ooh. I don't want to swear too much either, because I'm not somebody that swears often, but it was, it's, it's, there used to be a habit for me, so I'm trying to curb the habit now, so I'm going to apologize for that too. When I happen to curse, it's like, you know, I'm trying to curb the habit of doing that altogether, so I don't like to do that. Not fun for me. I'm a Christian, so. I don't like that too much. I'm thinking this picture might actually be stretched out a little bit too. I might have to adjust that. This feels like it's a little stretch. Yeah. I know it did do something too. I think that was for the recording. Did that in OBS? And I don't really use OBS that often because I don't record things that often. Either. I got no takedowns. I'm trying to get at least a takedown here. This is gonna be one of those nightmare videos. It's like first, actually, I've done I've done recordings for video games on this channel. Just so uh, people know that I've just deleted them because they weren't that good. So you know. Years have passed, I'm still not that great at doing this stuff. But I'm still trying. But I don't do this very often. Like, it's like a rarity that I get on here to do any gaming related videos now, so... Count your lucky stars, I guess. I mean, whoever comes across this thing. This gem right here. I'm like, whoa. Like, ah! This guy's pretty awesome. No. Oh. Dude, I don't think this guy sucks balls on this game. I feel like a lot of people are doing this game. Uh, like I'm tired of even listening to him talk right now. He's so annoying. I heard people probably say that. It's the end. What do you do? Come on, two bones left. Let's go. I think it's still good. Tired from the end is coming. Whoa, damn, I got double teamed on that. Freaking front end is gone. Wow, I got first. I have no clue how I got first. How did I get first? I guess I just played my cards right. That's all. I played my cards right. I must have done it right. Hey, you sound like a turn. Like sure. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to restart just because I feel like doing another one with the same car on the same track because I can and I don't care because I can I want to do it I want to do it again
It may not work. I do Oh, you're not even supposed to hit the driver. Now that's the driver's side. Damn. I'm trying to follow like real rules too. Can't hit the driver's side. I mean, you can hit the driver's side, but like not like the direct door or the door side, I don't think. Like I'm pretty sure. I don't know like all the freaking rules to demo derbs, but I think that's how it works. Ooh, you went right into my line. Wasn't even going for it. Wasn't even going for it. Come on. Ooh, dang. Come on, Chris. Come on, Lee. Come on. I think this freaking ass is completely trash right now. Whoa. Whoa, that T-bone. Like, they completely, like, obliterated my sign, man. Twelve! <laughs> that easy. Damn! I got screwed! Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Well, if I could actually, uh, throw this in here. I'm gonna go back to continue, because I don't want to do replay. That just takes some more time. Uh... What did I want to go to? Since uh, this channel is kind of sort of a almost a rebranding, not really a rebranding, but like a restructuring of the same channel that I already did. I may actually rename the channel some point too, but uh, anyway, the channel itself. I did have montages. I had like movie montages. I had game montages, really weak game montages, but I had some really cool movie montages on here really, like one point, and some and some like legitimate montages from real life you know, just uh, stuff that I captured on camera going to drag races uh, doing some stuff on the wheelers and stuff like that like back in the day so, I still have a few of those videos I could probably post up here at some point I don't know when that's ever going to be, if that ever is a thing. But I might bring someone back up. Even when I was at a rock show. Rock on the Range 2014. I deleted that video too. I kind of I kind of kicked myself in the face with that because that was a pretty funny video. I might bring that up someday in a video. Just like what happened during that, that event. And there are videos still of that event there. But, you know, there are some funny moments. But anyway... Uh, I was kind of sort of going to touch on lucid dreaming a little bit. Again, this is like kind of the third time. If you're somebody that had looked at my other videos, which I'm assuming you probably aren't somebody that did that. You probably just wanted to watch this game or whatever. Um, I get into topics. Random topics sometimes. This particular topic is going to be about lucid dreaming and I have had multiple dreams over the past year or so so I want to somehow bring these into the YouTube environment I don't know how I'm going to do that in an entertaining way I just want to bring it in there and say something uh, just to bring something interesting to the table maybe you know be a little different because I don't know how many people talk about lucid dreaming you know on YouTube especially playing video games you know I'm sure people do I've seen people talk about it but during a video game I don't know just playing games just doing random stuff whatever uh, different tracks speed bowl speed bowl I guess I guess I'll try that um, okay, first off, since I'm not really good at really keep my mind on track, I got a little bit of ADD and stuff like that. Sometimes things get, they sometimes go off course, sometimes I ramble, sometimes things happen. Okay, speed bowl, um, looks like this is just another plain derby. Um, I don't play this game that often either, but 
Anyway, what I want to talk about when it comes to this uh, particular topic, lucid dreaming. Uh, this was probably about two years ago, I want to say. This particular dream was about two years ago. Uh, very weird one to me. And I don't know, if you ever look into lucid dreaming, there's, there's a lot of things that go into that stuff. Um, there could be some spiritual things to it if people know what spirituality is, uh, know what goes into spirituality, because it's it's a little bit of religion, and uh, actually it's a lot. It has a lot to do with religion. If you ever look, if you go into the the, the depths of what spirituality really is, it's a uh, it's a religious thing. So um, anyway, would like to talk about with this particular dream and since I I'm particularly on the not even on the fence I'm not on the fence at all uh, I'm in a field where I feel like most of these things some of these things come from spiritual entities of some kind because I believe in um, I believe in devils or I believe in demons I believe in God Okay. You can look at some of the other videos on my channel to understand what I'm all about. I'm just saying, I believe in these things, and uh, I won't go into too much detail here because, for one, I'm going to do a lot of detail on my other videos. You can watch the other videos if you want to understand it. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to focus on this too, but I'm also trying to like focus on the story I'm trying to tell. It's just it's a lucid dream. I mean, it's, it's nothing big, but... Because you can either take it or leave it. You can either think, well, maybe there's something behind this, and like a demon did that. Or it's just your subconscious, or you're just your conscious mind. Because some people believe that stuff, but I think there's more more spiritual things to it than that. Like, demonic energies or something. Okay, I got third in that. That's decent. Let's see... This particular dream started out with me in uh, a house, in, like a two-story house, I think. I think it was about a two-story house, an old, it was like an old two-story house. I didn't, like, I never saw the outside of it or anything. I started in the inside, randomly. I started in the inside of the house, um, and I was waking up, like I was waking up from a sleep, like a deep sleep or something. Like I was like waking up. And I didn't know I was in the dream at, the, at that time. That's how I started getting into like lucid dreaming. Like, I didn't realize I was really in a dream, but I still remember a lot of these dreams, even though the the factor the factor that plays into lucid dreaming is that you remember that you're in a dream while you're in the dream. But I usually don't know that I'm in the dream when I'm in it. I just remember these dreams, and I've been doing it since like. 2014 or something like 2013 or 2014 like I've been able to remember a lot of my dreams and I used to be somebody that never dreamed what like at all I used to like not dream ever so I start out in this house two-story house what I do I, uh, I get up out of bed and for some reason I fall through the floor and I have no I have no I don't know why but it, it, the, you know that house must have been must have been brought it out and must have been some termite problems or something I just fell through the fucking floor I fell through the floor sorry for cursing again but I fell through the floor I'm not sure why but I feel like there might be some things behind these dreams as well which, you know, I can maybe go into that later to you in other videos. But fell through the floor, and, you know, I was, like, going down, like, a hallway or something like that, and just trying to gather myself, and there was, like, you know, I was just going into, like, a living room of some kind. It kind of felt like I was in, like, the house of, like, Detective's Chainsaw Mask a little bit. It did have the same structure, not completely, but it was almost identical, like on the inside, if you ever saw that movie. It, it was similar. The similar interior 
structure, but not, not 100%. Like, it was more open. I don't think there was really, I didn't see, like, the upstairs or anything. I just knew that I was upstairs because I had to fall through something. So, anyway, I don't know. I just know that I was in a house that the structure was similar to that of Protective Chainsaw last year. It was weird. Uh, and, uh, anyway, in this dream, I was going out. There's a couch. I think I was out in, like, the living room area. I was out in, like, the, the lounge area of the, of the house where people would be hanging out. Nothing was there. There was nobody there whatsoever in that house. It was vacant completely. And I look out to where the door would be, the opening, the front, the front of the house. The door was open, wide open. There was like it almost seemed like there was no door there at all. There was no door whatsoever. There was a girl standing in the door. It wasn't like a creepy girl though. It was not a creepy girl. <laughs> It was an attractive woman, but she was in the darkness though, but you really couldn't see her features, you didn't know who she was. Sorry, I'm not playing the game right now, but I'm trying to talk about this stuff. The girl was in like almost like a tank top or just in like, I don't know, sort of skimpy clothing. You really couldn't tell the, all of the details because it was like dark. I didn't really see her face or anything. I knew she was blonde. I could tell she was blonde for some reason. Wearing like just normal pants. Almost like a tank top type deal. Maybe overalls or something like overalls, but maybe not even overalls. I don't know, maybe a t-shirt. T-shirt or a blouse or something. It was like a white piece of clothing. It looked like more of a tank top or a blouse of some kind. I started running towards the woman thinking like what's this what's going on here she vanishes or she like uh, I think starts you know uh, she goes the opposite way like she doesn't run but it's like she hovers or whatever she almost it's almost like she's like a spirit of some kind she's just completely backing away from me just hovering away from me and just like vanishes into thin air like she's like <laughs> like gone and then I start hearing the revving of chainsaws like chainsaw noise of some kind so that kind of almost told me that maybe it had something to do with like maybe it was a love oriented dream um it could have been like some some sort of like a maybe you're seeking a relationship of some kind maybe it was a relationship oriented dream it, it wasn't like an ex or anything I've only had like like a couple of girlfriends in my time, like legit girlfriends, some that were like, you know, uh, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Like one hardcore girlfriend where I've been with her for a long time, the others were just like kind of off and on kind of girls or a short period of time, I guess. Anyway. The dream was weird enough for me. I remembered it. I don't know how. Blonde chick, red and blonde chick, vanishes out of nowhere, comes out of nowhere. I'm in a Texas Chainsaw Master house for some odd reason. Uh, comes out of nowhere. Like, I don't even finish the dream. Like, I don't even see him. I just hear the noise and the sounds and the revving of a chainsaw in the background. And I just assume that... There's some kind of a an esoteric meaning or uh, something to read more into it. I don't know. There's more of a deeper meaning, meaning to it in the long run that I really don't know. And I'm just and I'm just assuming that's what it meant. So maybe it was the fact that you know I've been a bachelor for a little while. Maybe I'm just trying to seek out another girl, which I have been for a little while too, but I want to find a good one. I ain't not, I'm not playing around, I'm not trying to be like a player, I'm not trying to act around too much when it comes to that. I'm really trying to find a good girl for me, so. Anyway, that's just one of my weird dreams. This, this video's probably already gone long enough for me. 
I didn't really talk too much about the game, but it is a really good game. I would suggest that you might go and support Bugbear Entertainment. Go to the Facebook page, maybe download the game on Steam, uh, support the, the team, whatnot. I think it's only like, I don't know, 15 or 20 bucks to download this game. Like, I don't know. It's not that expensive, really, but just to start out. So I would definitely look into getting this game. It's a really fun game, actually. Uh, so, yeah. I'd look into it. That's all. Oh, I'm freaking done here, man. I have to get more contact in, and I'm done. Contact, contact, no. Uh, fuck! Uh, damn it. Okay, well. That's going to be it for this video. I don't really know what to say to end the videos because I don't really have like a tagline or anything to put on the end of them. Who knows? Maybe it'll just always be random. So, have a good day. How about that? Just have a good day. Have a swell night. Have a swell day. Whatever time of day it is for you, just be cool. Wrong. Okay. Whatever. Ooh, I received money. I got money. Then uh, I got money. Oh, okay. I think I can probably stop that.